Hi everyone, how are you all going? Okay, so I um, promised when I got back that I would make a video and this is, I'm back in the stress zone. Uh, excuse me while I munch, I'm eating dinner while I do this and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm so tired. And yes, yes I know it's very bad to go to bed with a full stomach but I don't care right now. Uh, anyway, it's be true. Okay. Sour cream, yada yada. Okay, so yeah, I've been unwell. Um, I'm getting better. I am my lowest weight, and let's talk weight. Okay, I got down to like I think it was 41.8, 41.9 kilos because I was ill, and I went into hospital to have it treated, and my bowel split open and. <laughs> I ended up with, well, poop in my lungs and they partially collapsed and yeah. I spent the last three days in hospital, I was in there for nearly two weeks, I spent the last three days in hospital rather upset. Um, so when you don't put food in your body, because I couldn't eat anything, I had to just have a saline drip and I went in just under 42 and then <laughs> when you don't eat protein your muscles and every part of your body absorbs the saline and um, I left at 69 kilos that's right 69 kilograms I left and I could barely walk my the skin on my feet my feet were that swollen I couldn't wear shoes. The skin on my feet actually split open. That's how swollen they were. I was very sick. And I, I am still a little unwell. Um, it's not from the weight loss surgery, just so that's clear. And no, I'm not anorexic. I've had lots of people double check that. So um, I'm not, other than counting more calories, I'm having four to 6,000 calories a day at the moment because I, I'm burning off so quickly. Um, while I'm dealing with this, I, you know, I'm not counting minimal calories and I'm not purging and I'm not doing any of that bullshit, okay? Um, yeah, anyway, so I didn't make a video for a while because I, <laughs> yeah, and my muscle has turned to shit, yeah, so that's it okay okay there's no huge neck muscles or anything like that and I would love for that to come back but I can't train until just after Christmas um, so news on training okay I have eight weeks after Christmas I have about eight to ten weeks to be able to train for the Tough Mudder it's the first time in Australia if you don't know what it is, Google it or look it up on YouTube. We're talking to the extent it was designed by, I believe, the British SAS. It is a 17 kilometre obstacle course, including barbed wire fences, walls the height of my roof that I have to get over. And I'm actually looking forward to this next one I'm going to tell you about. Okay, <laughs> I don't know whether is this is sadistic or not. It probably is, but I want to know what ten thousand volts of electricity feel like going through my body. I'm curious. I, I'm assuming it'll hurt, and you know the old spazzy dance. Okay, they have cables hanging down in one of one of the obstacles, and you have to run through it. And you have to take your chances about getting hit with one of the 10,000 volts. Now, <laughs> I can just imagine myself doing the spazzy dance because it, it will not be a willing spazzy dance, but like, oh, 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 <laughs> priceless. Um, <clears throat> I've invited the Channel 7 um, Today Tonight team to come and film. And, um, you know, why not? Mummy of five gets electrocuted while on camera. <laughs>
<laughs> Seriously, at the end of this thing, I'm going to be knackered. Um, apparently, it's a, a three-hour course for most fit people. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably shoot for four. And if I get under four, I'll be really happy. If I get just over four, I'll be really happy. You know, if I get to the end of it without falling on my ass too much, well, I mean, that's a, you know. If I get to the end of it, I'll be really happy because I'm doing it again in September. So March 31st, Tough Mudder. Yeah. I reckon I'm a tough enough mudder to do it. Yeah. Crazy. I've asked several people. I believe there's only one person I know so far that's said, yeah, I think she's gone. <laughs> and that is my gladiator trainer. And seriously, Sim, if you pike on me, I'll cry. No, I won't. But I will go, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, she'll kick my ass anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I got some other stuff going on. Okay. My book. I have copies. Okay. This three year, the three year, um, <sighs> the three year rewrite has been fast tracked. And a copy of this is on its way to a production studio. Pat's on back. I'm shooting myself. But Pat's on back. <laughs> you know, if you can't back, you shouldn't expect other people to pat you on your back. Seriously, you got to do it for yourself. Um, so I've, I've been working and writing, and I had holidays, and I had planned to have holidays until Sunday, but other people had other ideas. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, I should be at Kokoda right now, and I'm not. And it's my birthday today. I've turned 39, and, and fruitier than I, what I was when I was 15, I think. In a driven, crazy woman nutcase, go get what I want way. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm still in love. Let's just throw that out there. Yeah. There you go. Um. I don't know if that means anything at the moment. I'm too tired. I talk too much. Seriously, women talk too much. We do. Men don't want to hear much all the time. They don't. I can tell you that now. But mention beer and boobs and sparkly things and suddenly their, their eyes light up and their ears prick up and yeah. So if you're having trouble ladies getting your men's attention, mention beer, boobs and sparkly things. That seems to be working. Yeah. And fellas, us women, we like moving furniture. <laughs> I don't know why I threw that out there. I just did. And cleaning. I love cleaning. I just think if everything's clean, you just feel so much better. I just think. And, and before the women's livers jump up and down, I think men should mow lawns and women should clean. I, that's just my belief. So don't don't go jumping down and down at me because I believe that, but it's true. So yeah. Anyway. So yep, fifty kilos at the moment, but not much muscle mass. That will be built up after Christmas. I have some more stuff to deal with. Um, 39 today, and um, yeah, I had to reroute a few things after the, the hospital incident because that put Everest off for 2013 because apparently it takes up to five years for your lungs to repair from having poop in them. Um, 
Well, I'm still coming to terms with that one. You know. However, the one person that I want to believe in me actually said to me the other night, you know, you'll do it in five years. So I think I will. I think I'll do it before the five years and I think I'll make it. I believe I can. I don't plan on croaking it. So um and I and I you know, I'll try and make some money for charities and and other things, but at the end of the day I still have to make money for my family and, and make an income. Otherwise it's all in vain, really. <laughs> and you know. So, um family first. You know, and, and if I had to choose family over Everest, I would choose my family. Without a second guess. Sorry. No. And I wouldn't regret it. But anyway, so that's what's going on with me. Oh, I'm collaborating with a friend who happens to be a clown. Now, I think I mentioned in a previous video, clowns give me the creeps. So I'm thinking he might be able to convert this into me not getting the creeps. But I got some ideas for a quickie video. Sorry. It should be fun. So anyway, I better go. I've got more beetroot to eat. And um, I might have a fluffy duck. That's advocat, vodka and lemonade. And um, I'll talk to you all soon. I hope you're all well. And um, thanks for all your comments. And I'm sorry I haven't got anything more, really. I mean, I do, but I can't talk about them at the moment. Let's just say I've already got a busy, busy next few months. And next year is already, I've already got bookings from March, April, May. Where are my busiest months? So I'm crazy town, and one of them I'll be away for up to 21 days. So uh, nothing more to tell, really. Just yeah, happy with where my life is going. Tired, but very happy. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you all soon. I hope you're all well. Okay, I'm still here. I'm still okay. Sorry. Right. Love you all. Bye.